Oh, it's time. It's time. We're going to make the lames mad today. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm ready for it, baby. I'm ready for it. You know, I had a subscriber reach out to me, uh, comment one of my videos and say, hey, Bowtie, what's up with the panty droppers of 2023? And for a minute, I was like, ah, I know that's a controversial topic. <laughs> it shouldn't be, but it is. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Then I said, you know what? Ain't nobody going to stop me from being me. All right. I'm going to address this one last time. But for right now, let's get into it. Panty droppers, 2023. <laughs> let's get it. YouTube, what's good? What is popping? What's cracking with your folk coalition? <laughs> what's going on, man? I'm Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. We talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel. So if you're into fashion and fragrance, you found the right channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well so when I upload other dope videos like the one you're about to see, you don't miss out. Yes, sir, we're doing it today, man. Panty Droppers, 2023. Now, before I get all the way into the video, I want to roll a clip. So for anybody out there that says that I wasn't one of the first people to make this particular statement, this is proof that they are not being honest because I did this back in 2020. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Fellas, this is it. Today is the day. I know a lot of you guys have asked me on different occasions about my panty dropper list. So if you've been waiting on that, then the wait is over. That's right, fellas. That's it today. I'm about to give you the real little real. I'm about to give you 10 fragrances that's going to, in the words of Tommy from Martin, help you get the draw, dog. These are those sexy fragrances that are going to drop the panties. Drop them down. <laughs> so these are the ones that are guaranteed. <laughs> Alright, pull a, bring the camera in a little bit. Alright, so here's the real, fellas. There is not a fragrance in the world that is going to single-handedly, by itself, drop a woman's panties. Okay? That's just the reality of it, man. Now, of course, fragrances will enhance your overall appeal. Fragrances will help to get a woman's attention and the whole nine. But guys, Fragrances alone not dropping panties. All right, so if you've been, you know, following those type lists, uh, some of these crazy lists that people come up with, it's just not true. Now, like I said, fragrance will enhance, but it's also gonna take some swag and some personality. And of course, looking the part. So that's just the reality of it. So as you can see, gentlemen, even back then, when the first time I ever did a video that had that, that word in the title, I very clearly stated that fragrances themselves are not going to drop any woman's panties. But there are some lames out here that want to run with that theory. And I call them lame because this, these are the, these are the people that are lame. The first person that's lame is the person that complains about this kind of content, trying to insinuate to the rest of you guys that they think that anybody that makes a video with that title really means that a fragrance is going to drop a woman's panties. They're lame because they know that's not what that means. They know that panty droppers is just another way to say a sexy fragrance or a date night fragrance or heck for that matter, you maybe even find these kind of fragrances on a complimented list. That's all it means. It's just a more creative way to say it because guess what? The average person that doesn't really watch fragrance related content may watch it because of that title. It's that simple, man. It is what it is. So some people pretend pretend like they don't know that that's what that title means. Now, the second person that's lame, if you really think that that's all it takes to get a woman's panties, then <laughs> you got bigger issues than fragrance, all right? So that's a whole nother topic in itself. But the truth of the matter is, guys, I think most of the guys that watch my content, at least, that's not even an issue. Most guys know exactly what this means. Look, a fragrance can, can start a conversation. If you smell good, if somebody walks past you and says, hey, you smell good, or whatever the case may be, this is an opportunity to maybe start a conversation. And this, that's really all it is at the end of the day. So with that being said, we will never address that again. So lames have at it. <laughs> Trust me, guys, the lames are coming. So lames have at it. But for the rest of us cool dudes out here, <laughs> we're going to get into it. 2023 Panty Drop. Let's go. 
the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Listen, hide your kids, hide your wife. I'm kidding. These are some straight bangers, man. These are some panty droppers. In other words, they are fragrances that garner a lot of attention, all right? So the first fragrance that I want to talk about today, guys, from Mind Games, this is Double Attack. Double Attack, Double Attack. And guys, wear this if you are on the prowl, all right? If you are on in attack mode, this is the fragrance you need to have on your skin, man. This stuff is phenomenal. I cannot tell you, it's like, when it hits my skin, it is like magic. You go into, or when I've gone into the vicinity of people, it causes hysteria, all right? It causes absolute chaos when I wear this fragrance, man. So many people like it and love it on my skin. There's bitter orange in here. There's dark chocolate in here there is some vanilla in here i mean this stuff is just now you gotta get your nose on this stuff seriously there are some fragrances from mind games that really just do it when you talk about this kind of category sexy attention grabbing yeah this one is one of the best in class from that from that particular house and that's saying a lot because they got some bangers so check this one out man Panty Dropper Certified from the brand of Mind Game. This is called Double Attack. All right, guys. Now, this next fragrance, oh, my gosh. I'm, it's crazy because I might have did the, the best, too, in the beginning of the video. <laughs> oh, man, when you talk about panty dropping, attention grabbing, lady magnets, lady killer, whatever you want to call them, man. This one from Louis Vuitton. This is called Just My Imagination. <laughs> That's right. This thing it's crazy when it comes to garnering, att garnering attention guys trust me on this you have to get your nose on imagination it is a what i would call a mass appealing scent profile i cannot imagine anybody male or female smelling this fragrance and not thinking that this smells fantastic <sighs> citrus is up top you have some neroli in here. There's some ginger in here. There's a little bit of cinnamon in this ambroxan. There's a tea note in here as well, guys. Check this out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out from Louis Vuitton Imagination. This thing is crazy, man. I, I just I can't, can't explain it. When I wear it, I have not worn this and not gotten a compliment. Facts. Check it out from Louis Vuitton. And I've knocked out a lot of this. And I haven't even had this, but maybe, what, three months maybe? <laughs> I wear it a lot because it's that good. Louis Vuitton Imagination. All right, guys, this next fragrance is super sexy because it is a full share, but it's super creamy as well. Pause. This fragrance is from the brand of Chanel. And again, this is called Boy by Chanel. This is called Boy, but like I said before, when I mentioned this fragrance a few weeks ago, you will not smell like a boy when you wear this. You will smell like a sexy masculine beast wearing this fragrance because it has all of the makings of a traditional fougere. You have the lavender, the geranium, the malt, oak moss, all that stuff in here. But this creamy, sexy, vanilla kind of undertone that, that uh, that's in this fragrance, and it comes from heliotrope, sandalwood, uh, white musk, Check this one out. Guys, I, listen, <laughs> I'm not exaggerating the points here. These fragrances are so freaking standout, man. They are so good, the fragrances on the list today. Uh, you just gotta get your nose on them for yourself, man. Again, sometimes it's hard to articulate how good something is through the camera, but get your nose on it, man. From the brand of Chanel. You wanna smell like a man, get boy. <laughs> All right, guys, the next fragrance on the, you know what? I don't even know what I want to tell you guys about this one. This is one of my secret weapons. <laughs> this, seriously, this is a secret weapon because I think initially this fragrance was, was kind of marketed to women, but it's definitely unisex, 100%. So I know most people don't even, first of all, don't know about it. And I know not many guys at all wear this fragrance. But we come closer. Trust me when I tell you, panty dropper. Peace. Fellas, this fragrance is from the brand of Bikillian, Bikillian, and this is called Plain 
with the devil. Playing with the devil. This is a peach. Uh, this one has peach in it. All right. Not a note that you find in most masculine men's fragrances. I get it. Peach. There is lychee in here. So it's really a sweet, juicy kind of peach opening to this fragrance. But when it dries down, man, it gets really good. There's a slight hint of rose in here. Very slight hint of rose. It's kind of in the background. But you get some sandalwood. You get, you get sweet. You get some tonka bean in here uh, as well. Oh, man. A little bit of a balsamic quality here as well. There's some benzoin on the dry down. Guys, you, you got to try this stuff. This thing is panty proper certified. Trust your boy on this. You need to get your nose on it. From the brand of By Killian, this is one of my secret weapons. Weapons. Thank me later. This is called Playing with the Devil. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list is one that I've talked about oftentimes when I talk about a fragrance. If you want to put it in that sexy fragrance category, look no further than this particular fragrance from the brand of The Harmonist. This is Hypnotizing Fire. And yes, this fragrance is very fire. All right, you have rose in here, you have spices, uh, nutmeg, cinnamon kind of spice uh, in the opening of the fragrance to go with that rose. Uh, or Poponax adds a smoky tinge to the fragrance. That's where the fire comes in. Oh my gosh. I'm one of the first people to really talk about this fragrance, man. Me and the late, great Kevin. I uh, talked about this one as well, and I always have to uh, borrow a phrase from Kevin when I talk about this because it's so appropriate. She's going to need a little birth control with this one. <laughs> so check it out, man. From the brand of The Harmonist, this is called Hypnotizing Fire. All right, guys, this next fragrance up on the list. Trust me, you got to check this out. I love Fougères, and that's what this is because Fougères are classic, sexy, masculine fragrances in my humble opinion. And this is a Fougère with a twist. From the brand of Tom Ford, this is called Fougère Platine. Fougère Platine, guys. This is one of the most slept, slept on fragrances in the entire world. But this is from Tom Ford. And if one thing that Tom Ford does well is sexy. All right? Sexy, sexy, sexy. And that's what you're going to get in this fragrance. Again, it's a Fougère with a twist. The twist comes from two notes, in my humble opinion, that you don't find in a traditional Fougère tobacco and honey this is so sexy guys it is insane if you dress like i'm dressed right now you dress in all black or something like that and you're going somewhere whether it's a date or wherever you're going throw this on trust me when i tell you thank me later it's from time forward this is fougere platine all right, guys, this next fragrance is a derivative of a one of my favorite fragrances of all time, which is uh, Creed Aventus, and this is Aventus Cologne. Aventus Cologne, this is so classic and as it relates to this kind of category, man. It is a more fresher interpretation of the original Aventus, all right? The freshness in the opening, man, you get that mandarin orange, you get that pink pepper uh, in the opening of, as well, a little bit of ginger, so it's a lot of kind of a fresher interpretation of a vintage but when you talk about compliments and attention grabbing kind of sense this one does it for me look at how much i have used i know what i'm talking about when it comes to this fragrance it does not matter where i'm at where i'm going if i want to smell good and i know that most people i come into contact with there's no question they're going to think that i smell good this is one that i grab other guys that rock this know what i'm talking about it's definitely Penny Dropper Certified. From the brand of Creed, this is Aventus Cologne. All right, guys, this next fragrance up is one that I've talked about as well, kind of one of my secret weapons as well, because most people reach for other fragrances from this brand and from this particular line, like Tuxedo and Caban and Captain. But another Penny Dropper in that line, outside of Tuxedo, is this, and it's called Trench. Trench, what have I always said, guys? Ladies love stuff when they smell it that they can envision on themselves it smells good to them that's what this is man that's what this is it's fig and iris so it's powdery and then you have that fig note in there and like i've told you before certain notes that were called will be called fruity like fig pomegranate plum very sensual 
very seductive kind of notes that fall into that scent category and profile. And get your nose on this. Get your nose on this, guys. What are you waiting for? Uh, it's hard to find in this size. I think it's like a 4.2 ounce, but you can find the two, I think it's a 2.75 ounce, something like that. You can find the smaller bottles of this still readily available. It's hard to find this size. And I probably understand why. It's hard to keep it in stock. Check this out, guys. Panty Dropper Certified from the brand of YSL. This is called Trench. All right, guys, this next fragrance is almost as good as Imagination in this category. It is running close, a close second with this, as well as La Monsite from Louis Vuitton. This is called Meteore. This is Meteore. Guys, you got to get your nose on this one. You got to get your nose on this one. This is about citruses and spices to me. Citruses and spices. You got mandarin orange uh, in the opening of this fragrance. You have on a dry down, like I said, a melange of, of spices. Nutmeg is in this fragrance as well. Some of my favorite notes, honestly, some of my favorite spices uh, in this fragrance. Oh my gosh, this is heavenly. Again, it is a very, very close to imagination for me when you talk about uh, the mass appeal effect, the attention grabbing uh, effect. They both do this very, very well. And this is a very close second to Lamasite. I meant to uh, imagination. I would now put Lamasite third in this category. And that's crazy. I know because that is really good as well. But guys, Get your nose on this one. If you want something that's mass appealing, uh, something that most people are going to, it's gonna catch their attention, this is one you need to get your nose on as well from the brand Louis Vuitton. This is called Meteor. All right, guys, and last but not least on the list today, this fragrance um, smells a lot like a, a more expensive fragrance, a fragrance that's a lot more expensive than this one. Um, but they both do the same thing. So I, of course, wanna tell you guys about the less expensive option. From the brand of Electimus, this is called Vixir. Big Sear. And what you're really gonna get with this fragrance right here, guys, is a is a creamy orange sickle, all right? A creamy orange sickle is what you're gonna get with this, which is the same thing you get with uh, is a lot more expensive counterpart, which is uh, Valiant from Boulder City Victorious. This is kind of the same fragrance in a much uh, less expensive uh, price point. Again, Mandarin Orange is in here, you get Yang Lang, so it's a really creamy fragrance, like I said. Um, starting with the opening with the mandarin orange yang lang and then you get that uh, double dose of powdery uh, nature that comes into play here because you have iris and you have violet so it's like double dose of kind of this powdery nuance in the fragrance and when it dries down that's when the sweetness comes in man the sandalwood the vanilla the tonka bean phenomenal fragrance attention grabbing for sure so guys you need to get your nose on this one as well because it definitely fits this particular category. From the brand of Electimus, get your nose on this, guys. This is called Big C. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you my 2023 panty dropper list. Lames, get ready, because we're gonna at least do one of these every year. We're gonna update the resume. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments out to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information to find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren, I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.